So we have two ships. We have an aircraft carrier and we have a container ship. So let's be clear. The container ship first travels for four hours and then what happens is eight hours later the aircraft carrier catches up to it. So the container ship is traveling for 12 hours total. Now the aircraft carrier is traveling for well it waits four hours so it's not traveling at all for, for the first four hours and then it moves for eight hours and that's the time and the rate it goes at is 30 miles per hour. So let's just get the distance the aircraft carrier has to go to catch the ship. That's going to be distance is rate times time which is going to be the 30 miles per hour times 8 hours and that gives me 240 miles. Now what we can do is we know the total distance covered by both ships is 240 miles. We know the time taken is 12 hours uh, for, the for, the, for, the carry for the container ship. So now let's get the speed of the container ship. I know the distance the container ship travels equals the rate that it travels at times its time. That C just means container ship. So I'm going to have 240 miles. I don't know the rate because that's what I'm trying to find and it's done in 12 hours. So I'm going to just go ahead and simplify that here. That's 240 equals R times 12. We'll divide both sides by 12. And when we actually solve that out, we're going to get a rate of 20 miles per hour. And that's how fast the container ship goes. So that's problem number one. And um, we'll take a look at problem number two right now. So a cruise ship makes a trip to Guam and back. It takes 12 hours and the trip back took 9 hours. Average 20 kilometers per hour on the return trip. We want to find the average speed of the trip there. So we know the distance back equals the rate back times the time back. So the distance back equals the rate, which is 20 kilometers per hour, times the 9 hours it took to go back. So that's 180 kilometers. Well, that's also the distance there. So the distance out equals the rate out times the time out. And I know that that's 180 equals an unknown rate times a time of 12 hours. I'll simplify it by dividing both sides by 12. <coughs> Excuse me. And so I'll end up getting a rate when I simplify of 15 miles per hour. So that's problems one and two, and we'll take a look at problems three and four in the next video.